air conditioned air canadian walking tour. You have seen the water of the sea, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The cost line is at five, six hundred meters now. Two thousand years ago, the cost line was here. I told you, we are like seagulls flying over the waves. The strand was down there. So we are walking exactly on the mud, on the lava that buried everything, that, that flooded everything. And that's been excavated and brought out in the last 300 meters. So this is a hole excavated into the lava. And it's basically a, a third of the extension of Herculaneum, the Pacific. You see the north, the, the sea front walls over there. And you see a gate over there. Another gate there. So called Porta Marina we take afterwards there. Three of five that have been recognized. How could I know that there are two more? Because of making galleries, making tunnels, we have explored what is underground. So there is a villa that now archaeology, now since a couple of centuries, archaeology is cleaning and restoring over these bar not accessible to the people. That's the so-called bill of the papyrus. Since a library of papyrus carbonized was recognized. That bill with a pool of 200 meters only, uh, seafront, uh, was belonging to no one, to the to Jules Caesar brother-in-law. They used to come on holiday here. His name was uh, Lucio Calpurnio Pizzo. Then there were plenty of other properties along the coastline. Villas, which are suburban structures, but there were also urban beautiful residences. The city walls are here. What are walls for? Walls in a town. What are walls for? Outside the town. Protection, right. <laughs> if the walls are colonial, are swim pools on them. With Clouds, thermal clouds. A temple there where these people are taking pictures. You see the marbles showing divinities sculpted there. There is a Diana, there is a Neptune, there is a Hephaestus, there is a Mercury. Over there, stories to keep products. Over there, the piers where the boats were docked. Over there, Balconies uh, and the uh, lower levels of beautiful villas that, that's mine, had the swimming pool where there is a garden now. Over there are the huge, beautiful residences, residences with the view seafront. The islands, the peninsulas, the girls in bikini on the beach. Yeah. Nice. What does it mean? If all this is on and over the world, it means that Herculaneum, as all the other cities of the coastline, did not need to be protected. So, in the Epoch of Christ, this region of Italy, the Segunda Regio, the second region of the Roman Empire, after Rome, which is very close, today 300 kilometers, also in the times, but in the times we spent a couple of days, now it's a couple of hours. Okay. Being, well, it means that uh, this area was safe in the middle of the Mediterranean, no enemies to fight with. So people can swim, can go to the club, can go to the cinema, the theater, which is under the yellow residences there. You see that house with the balcony, with the clothes hanging? Yeah. That's my cousin. <laughs> the only one that doesn't pay to look at that <laughs> Even the bed and breakfast there. Huh? Under is blocked. This is the theater we're seeing in the maquette and temples. And under all this group of blocks, more than city, you see a vertical yellow wall. Like that one is in yellow lava, in sulfur, this one. Volcanic deposit of a couple of billions of years that the hills of Napoli stored. That's fire. Once was fire. Now we soft and the seismic fresh and cool. Well, that wall in local stone separates the mogul 
dating from the old one. And that modern, back to the yellow, great stone, was it's a, right crossing the middle of the ancient city, the main Decuman or the main boulevard, the Roman third into a square. So if over there we have the center of the city and we have, we have the sea front, all this area is a calm residential area in between the square, which is pedestrian, and the sea, whose gates are too small to let the move up. Only donkeys or porters, the Sakari, the people that broke the sacks, or the emperors, for the marina could walk up. So in Arcola, in this district, plenty of residences, no traffic, few donkeys, a lot of people used to come on holiday to spend in the villas outside, or in the domus, the rich houses inside, the so-called Villa Gatur, as we still say, in French, in Italy, going to the villas. So Erkelen was a rich residential head for Roman politics. Let's go in.